Hello there. T today I'll show you how to troubleshoot and repair a Haiti um, photo printer machine. So the first thing I want to do is to open the open the, the front door and that is where you'll be able to get access to, to the paper and the ribbons. So basically what this shows, this is giving an error which indicates that the paper is not well positioned. It is asking you to power on and off the the, the the machine so i'm going to troubleshoot i'm going to check uh, the paper feeder to be sure that uh, it is um, it, it is it fitted in properly and that is one of the issues that can cause problem with this with this particular machine you can see it has guides on on both sides so i'm going to check this gear, gear if it spins the paper normally because this gear is supposed to spin the, the paper if it doesn't move that means the paper won't be able to move through and this other area I'm going to clean them out and apply some grease to those area so the kind of grease I'm going to be using you can see I have a special lice grease that is mainly for for printers I have it in a syringe so that I can be able to get access to all the parts of the printer that I wanted uh, grease in so I'm going to apply grease and then clean out um, there's a roller under I'm going to clean also I just want to make sure that everything is fine because this particular area over time it builds up dust and the roller is unable to spin the paper the way it's supposed to spin so the paper stalks inside and when the when you power on the printer it will fail to initialize so actually the problem with this particular machine is that it doesn't initialize at all immediately you put it on you're supposed to hear the machine initialize that is all the gears in the machine is going to spin and then it is going to test all the gears that are movable to be sure all of them moves and check if the paper is um, if the paper is inside and is fitted properly so if that doesn't happen when you start the machine it will ask you to power on and off because one of the gears is having an issue which is what I'm going to be rectifying today you can see this gear is supposed to spin so I will check if that is the issue that is one of the areas I'm going to check if your high T photo printer doesn't initialize so I'm going to apply grease to this I just apply grease to this particular area it is very very important that you apply grease to this particular area of the machine because that controls the the, the movement of the, the paper and then the ribbon also so apply get um, grease to it just like I've done and then we have different kinds of grease you have to apply the liquid one if you don't know the kind of grease to apply you can just hit me up in the comment section and i will and i will give you a link on where you can be able to get the grease or give you the name and then the specification of the kind of grease that you can use for this particular part of the machine so i'm going to um remove the the, the, the paper and i'm going to refit it inside so this is the photo paper i'm going to refit it inside a slot you can see that is a slot there it is supposed to pass in through through this through this part of of, of the machine it's supposed to go in through that um, particular hole so if it is if it didn't go in through through the it, the sensor will not be able to detect it all right so i'm going to pass it through there and then close it up again and confirm if the problem has been solved if it has not been solved the next place i'm going to check is the the sensor we have the paper sensor you will see there is this sensor on the right hand and the left hand side you see it with this blue light so that it is that is actually what detects the the paper if the paper is there so i'm going to uh, put the ribbon back the way it's supposed to be you can see the way i'm spinning it it shouldn't be with too much egg um, leave out excess part of the um, um the ribbon so that it doesn't uh, uh, um, come up with too much skill inside so i'm going to power off and power on the the scanner again and then i discover that um it is still showing that error so i'm going to readjust the ribbon once more and the paper just to be sure that everything is intact the way it ought to be okay it is fine now i'm going to put the ribbon back and hopefully it works this time around okay all right you can see it is fitted in properly i'm going to close normally once you close open and close the door it is supposed to initialize and spin but i'm going to power off the the printer and put it on again and after 
I discovered that it is not initializing. Something is wrong somewhere, either with the paper sensor or with the ribbon. So I'm going to take the ribbon out again and I'm going to check, troubleshoot and check where the error is coming from because um, it doesn't spin at all. It doesn't initialize and if it doesn't spin, it will not be able to detect the, the, the photo paper. So, um, right about this time, I have been able to um, locate where the problem might be from. The problem is likely from the, the paper sensors. You can see there's a paper sensor on the right hand and on the left hand side. I've taken some part of it out. You can see this particular uh, the little chip there. That greenish little chip is actually the, the, the paper sensor. I, I will remove all the the screws that is holding it down so that I can get access to the bottom part of uh, 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 of the sensor that is where the paper pass passes through I want to be able to get access to it and see what is going on down there sometimes it might just be a, a foreign particle or foreign material that is uh, blocking the movement of the paper inside so I want to remove it completely and then see what is going on and just to be sure that everything is fine inside Okay, so I am going to check on the, the, the paper passage. I will, I'll get another piece of paper and then push it through that um, slot where the paper passes through just to be sure that that particular area is free and that there is nothing holding it or blocking it in any way. So while, we, while working on this particular area of this um, photo printer, you have to be very careful because this um, a session has a lot of sensors attached to, to it. You have to be very careful. So I'm going to pass a piece of paper through the through the, the, the passage and see if the sensor detects it. You can see each time I pass this paper through it, the sensor keep, um, keep flashing its light, which means it can detect paper normally. So I'm going to pass it through. I'm going to pass um, paper through that area again, just to be sure. And then I um, will put uh, the main photo uh, paper on top of it and check if it will be able to pass it, uh, pass uh, out through the through the slot freely. And then I'm going to to put it back and see if um, that problem has has been been solved. Sometimes the problem can be that um, the the sensor is weak and it doesn't detect the, 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 the paper. So I am going to, I've been able to pat the, the photo paper under with another piece of paper. I'm going to power off and power on again. The power switch of this particular photo printer is at the back of the machine. So you can see the paper came out through um, this particular doorway but it's still giving me that error to power on and power off the, the machine it doesn't uh, initialize uh, the way it's supposed to normally when you power on and power off this particular uh, photo printer it is supposed to initialize that means all the gears is supposed to spin to be sure that everything is working fine if it doesn't spin that is um uh, the printer is um, photo printer is sensing that something is wrong somewhere. So that wasn't able to to resolve the problem. Now this particular photo uh, printer has two two paper sensors. That is one on the right hand side and one on the the left hand side. The one I was able to check is the one on the right hand side. I'm going to check the other one too. To be sure that everything here is is fine. So the sensor is actually the 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 the, um, the little chip on the right hand side and on the left hand side that um, flashes this blue light. That is what detects uh, the photo paper. If it doesn't uh, flash the blue light, that means it, it is not detecting 
the, the paper at all. So if it detects the paper, that means it flashes light when you pass paper through uh, the paper passage. That means the sensor is is working fine, and then the 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 the, card, the paper passage is free also. And you might want to check another part um, of the the photo printer for for where the, the problem could could be from you can see so to be able to get access to the, the sensor you have to open this particular um, panel you can see that is the sensor so the paper is supposed to pass through it once the paper passes through uh, the under of the sensor the pe the sensor will beep um, will flash its light and send the message back to back um, to the to the logic board of the printer that the paper has been able to pass under the the paper has been able to pass under the, the the photo printer so i'm going to detach the the, the cable right now and then i'm going to take a closer look at the, this particular chip just to be sure that everything is fine with it sometimes it might just be dust or uh, uh paper particles that has been able to block that uh the, the chip that, that that is a sensor there that is attached to to this particular chip that is a sensor under so I am going to remove the I'm going to remove this particular chip and clean it thoroughly clean the sensor make sure that there is no foreign um, material that is blocking the surface of this particular sensor so th there is a screw that is holding down this uh, particular chip which I have to take out right now remember you have to keep all the screws in a safe place so as not to misplace all any of them because these screws they, we have different screws for different parts of this machine so you might want to get a container and then label the container according to the section where you got the, the screw from okay so I've been able to take out the screw that is holding this particular chip so I'm going to lift it up a bit and then take a closer look at the back of the chip that is where the sensor I am talking to you about is located I'm going to clean it out and then check if there is any form of damage on it if there is a damage sometimes it can uh, uh, flash its light and not send the, the right message to to the printer so I have not been able to um, detach the the chip I, I, I'm taking a closer look right now. Sorry, you can see that through the through the camera. I'm taking a closer look right now. I um, just want to be sure that everything is fine with this um, with the sensor that is attached to the chip. You can see this is the sensor I'm talking to you about at the back of it. So I'm going to clean with a liquid. If you have an isopropyl, um, you can use an isopropyl or any form of mild alcohol. Uh, but, but don't use uh, 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 any um, any liquid that is corrosive that can damage the, the chip in any way. You, remember that this is a sensor. It is very, very sensitive. So I have this specialized kind of a, a propyl, um, um liquid that I use to, to clean out this area. It is mild and it doesn't damage um, this kind of sensors easily. And if you, if, you, if you see having issues with getting this kind of liquid, you can just hit me up in the, in the comment section and I will give you... Uh, uh, um, and give you the name of the kind of liquid that you can use to clean the sensor in order not to damage it. So I'm still cleaning the sensor right now and, and it is done now. I will okay, I just want to check the cable that everything is fine with the cable also. I okay. To be sure that the cable is fine and there is no uh, there is no cut anywhere around the cable, so the cable appears to be fine. I will reattach the the chip back to its slot and position it again. Then power on the the photo machine and then hopefully the the problem is solved. So basically, when you get this error, that asks you to power. Um, the power off and on the, the printer because it is not um, initializing the way you ought to that means when you power on your printer and it doesn't uh, um, it doesn't spin you, you you do not hear that vibrating sound um, the, the, the problem most likely is just with the the photo paper you have to uh, realign it properly probably there's something wrong with it or the ribbon itself so I'm going to put the chip back and then I think they should be able to solve the problem. 
if you haven't done that already i would like you to like and subscribe to the channel i have a whole lot of videos on how to fix a whole lot of things from office equipment to home appliances to what have you and then i will see you some other time remember that you have to be very careful with the with the ribbon you have to be very careful with the ribbon in order not to cut it in any way it is made of this uh, very light material so this has been able to solve solve the, the problem i just want to realign the the ribbon properly and then close um and then apply the uh, the screws to hold down the, the sensor because i removed it initially i'm going to put the screws back and then the problem is solved so the first thing i was able to do was to check the paper check the ribbon if that doesn't work then check the sensor this sensor i'm holding right now if something is blocking it or there's a foreign material on that that is holding the uh, uh, that is holding the part and blocking the passage of the paper so thank you and i will see you some other time take care